Maurer. I'm the president of MECTA, the Middle Eastern Culture and Dance Association. And um, I've been president for um, almost three years. And it's a lot of fun. Wonderful. And you put together Cairo Caravan. When is that and what is Cairo Caravan? Cairo Caravan is a multi-style belly dance festival that is in Southern California on the Queen Mary in Long Beach, California. It is um, a phenomenal festival. We include all styles of Middle Eastern dance and we're open to tribal fusion, to ca American cabaret, Egyptian, folkloric dance. We have a little of everything. Wonderful. And um, when is it? It is the first weekend of June. It's June 3rd to the 5th this year. And um, so it's coming up soon, fast. Great. Now, how much does it cost? It is $18 for general admission, and we have different prices for MECTA members, and we have some pre-sale discounts as well. So if you go on our website, to mecta.org, then you will be able to find all of the admission prices in one place. Wonderful. Wonderful. And let's see, what inspired you to first put on an event like this? Well, I didn't actually start the event. The event was started 34 years ago, and I'm only 36, so I would have had to have been two. Um, but uh, some wonderful women started MECTA, and they were they really started it as sort of a union for belly dancers. Um, there were a lot of belly dancers in Southern California at the Middle Eastern restaurants. We had lots of, lots of Greek restaurants and um, Egyptian food restaurants and just a plethora of Moroccan food, you know, all that stuff. And all of the restaurants had dancers. And um, at the time, because they were recent immigrants, you know, they were not very, um, they didn't treat women as they were as valuable as they treat women now. And um, so they needed someone to stand up for their rights at the restaurants and, and not take advantage of them and pay them their proper wages and, you know, not put them in a closet with the with the bartender to change, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Okay. So um, they started the festival 34 years ago. Um, it was in a backyard. It was beautiful, though. We have pictures on our website um, with beautiful tents and fabrics and beautiful dancers and doesn't look anything unlike today. Oh, um, and over the years, it's grown and grown and grown. It used to be at Rio Hondo College um, hmm. in Southern California, and then it was in Glendale a Civic Auditorium. And we have a bumblebee friend. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then it was at the Santa Anita Racetrack. And when I became president, we moved it to the Queen Mary in Long Beach. And so how did you personally become involved in the whole MECTA and Cairo Caravan. Well, I'm a graphic designer, and um, I had some friends that were involved in MECTA, and they said I had to be involved and I had to be a member. You got to join and to help support them because they help support us. Mm -hmm. And so I started out as a regular member. Um, I started going to some local chapter meetings, just getting a little more involved, and then ultimately I became a chapter president and then the president of the whole organization eventually. Um, I just, you just get pulled in a little more and a little more, you know, it was, it, but it's so much fun. I think that's why I think you just want to do more and more as time goes on. That's wonderful. And have you always included tribal fusion styles of belly dance at Cairo Caravan? Um, no, not always. Um, Habibi Rue, John Compton mm -hmm. have had been coming to Cairo Caravan for, you know, 10, 20 years, forever. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say that's probably the closest they used to get to Tribal Fusion um, 10 or 15 years ago. But over the years, as it's become more popular and it's grown in um, its persistence, mm -hmm. it's been added to the festival. When I became president, I feel like all belly dance styles should be um, included and, and combined together, you know, because we all take moves from each other's vocabularies. You know, we are all intertwined, whether we have a different title or not. So I think everything should be included, and we really, really emphasize that. We try to have, you know, half um, Egyptian, American cabaret, half tribal, and then we throw in some drummers and um, folkloric dancers and and some traditional, more traditional styles. Ooh, how wonderful. Yeah. Sounds very exciting. And so which Tribal Fusion belly dancers are performing this year? We have Kalina Shakti, we have Ariella who does gothic dance of course, um, we have Sarah Beyer who combines modern dance with Tribal Fusion, and we have um, Frank Farinero 
who pretty much the only thing you can say about does Frank style. <laughs> he definitely has his own style. Um, and we have Kajira Germana, 